Controlling under-sterilized items, from surgical tools to needles, is crucial in every hospital. Medical waste disposal is fundamental to prevent disease spread and lower the risk of liability. So, how do you solve your medical waste problems once and for all? Medical waste is a byproduct of healthcare that includes sharps, non sharps, bloods, body parts, chemicals, pharmaceuticals, medical devices, and radioactive materials. Medical waste contains potentially harmful microorganisms, which can infect hospital patients, health workers, and other general public. Types of medical waste Infectious waste, which are waste contaminated with blood and other bodily fluids, culture and stocks of infectious agents from laboratory work, or waste from patients in isolation wards and equipment. Pathological waste are human tissues, organs or fluids, body parts, and contaminated animal carcasses. Sharps consist of syringe, needles, disposable scalpels, and blades. Chemicals Use, for example, solvents for laboratory preparation, disinfectants, and heavy metals in medical devices. Pharmaceuticals are expired, unused, and contaminated drugs and vaccines. Gentoxic waste are highly hazardous, mutagenic, teratogenic, or carcinogenic, such as cytotoxic drugs used in cancer treatment. Non-hazardous or general waste, waste that does not pose any particular biological, chemical, radioactive, or physical hazard. In total, about 75% to 90% are general and non-hazardous waste. 10% to 25% is considered hazardous material that is infectious, toxic, or radioactive. If these two categories of waste are not segregated properly, the entire volume of medical waste will be considered as infectious. We are here at Mabalaka District Hospital to learn more about medical waste management in this facility. Sir, ano po yung medical waste management in your own words? Ah, uh, segregation. Ah, uh, segregation of uh, hazardous waste, infectious waste, um, general waste, residuals, uh, saka yung pag-dispose uh, nito, uh, collected by the city government and the private and other private companies. Okay, so ano po yung approximation ng amount po ng hospital waste na naproproduce po ng facility na yearly? Yearly, kung estimate natin, thousand four hundred a year kilograms yan kasi ganito yung uh, uh, bali kung nakakulit ka ka ng seven hundred kilos yan okay. eh, bali sa isang uh, estimation estimation po if you're clear yan yeah. mm. tapos yun po budget allocation po para doon per annum po sa barangay, 1,000 ang alam po. 1,000 pesos sa mat. Mm -hmm. Pero dito rin sa private company, 40 pesos sa lang po yung per kilo sa mga infectious and hazardous waste. Okay. The correct segregation of waste at the point of generation relies on a clear identification of the different categories of waste and the separate disposal of the waste in accordance with the categorization chosen. Segregation must be done at the point of generation of the waste. To encourage segregation at source, reusable containers or baskets with liners of the correct size and thickness are placed as close to the point of generation as possible. They should be properly color-coded and have the international infectious waste symbol clearly marked. Ano naman po 
yung parang waste management scheme nyo sa facility nyo regarding segregation. Is, ano yung isip yun? Uh, kung ano ba po, paano po yung nagsasagaligin ng basura? Meron po bang color coding? Ay. It is upon the, the uh, plastic garbage bag na natin. Color coding yung yellow is excess green in general, tsaka yung black nakubulok, uh, inakubulok. Mga nagsubulok sama-sama na ito. Ah, okay. Yung po anatomical waste naman, such as nga po yung katulad yung naman siya kanina, yung yung tissues, yung, uh, yung nga po mga plants at placenta, or what not. Usually, paano po yung pag-dispose na ganang or yung pag may special container po ka siya? Yeah, may uh, special container, container ng mga yan. Ah, mga siguro weekly kung bukuha sila. Mga no, no. Apat, huling mong kasenta. Isang ko pa. Isisisen ko na yun. Tapos kung narating yung propolit na niya, hindi sila lang makikita rin mag-dispose. Apat, yun ang huwag niyo nalagyan. Hindi na bubuksan yun. So once na nilagyan na doon, is sealed na. Tapos sila nang bahala doon? Sila nang bahala. Okay. Later. Eh, regarding naman po sa mga, yung mga tinutukoy niya pong hazardous tsaka infectious, yung po mga sharps, tsaka po yung mga ba, test tubes po na ginamit sa mga blood, sa mga, yung mga test tubes po, paano naman po yun? Yung mga sharps, yung mga infectious natin, uh, meron isang lalagyan niya, tulad ng liter, bayad, tsaka yung mga ampules, ay yung mga slides, ay uh, nalagay niya sa Uh, busted fruit na container mm -hmm. o galong siyong mga plastic. Mm -hmm. Tapos di disinfect yan na rin yung glowing and then iisasa na po diyan at upon. Tapos sila rin sa mga ninyo rin. At yung pagdating ng uh, kumpanya sinalagawan yan. Ah, so kukalaman ano na yan? Nakasegregate na yan through all of coding mm -hmm. Natin. Oh. May mga masasuggest po ba kayo para mas ma-improve po yung uh, medical waste management po sa hospital nila? Suggest mo po para ma-improve na yung ito. Uh, pag, pag, ano po ang kami natin sa sanitation? Hmm. Dapat Magbibigay tayo ng health education sa mga pasyente, sa mga mga tao. Uh, kung pwede lang, meron sa mga outreach, di ba? Sa mga barangay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Magre-recommenda ka pa ng itong recommendation. Uh, dapat malaki. Lakihan natin yung holding area ng mga mm -hmm. hospital. Uh -huh para sa pag-collection ng mga kolektor niya. Mayroon ang dataan na natin. Dataan niya yung mga tao, ang mga pasyente na karing dataan. Okay. Eh, kung ano, meron kayo yung leaflets o mga pamplets, pwede rin kayo magbigay sa pasyente ng mga tao. Lalo-lalo na itong pagsagula na yung mga tinitusas natin. Yung mga nagtatapon ng basura kung saan-saan na saan. Ayun, nagtatapon ng basura kung saan-saan pero hindi mo na maaalis sa mga tao yun. Kasi habit na nila yan. With over 2 million tons of medical waste produced each year, it is more important than ever that medical facilities do their part to make sure their waste is managed and disposed of correctly. In fact, Even the slightest mistake in biohazard waste disposal could be devastating should that waste be exposed to unsuspecting civilians. To avoid the obvious dangers and to keep the community safe, proper classification and segregation of hospital waste is essential. Furthermore, it is always best to entrust hospital waste management 
with a professional medical waste company. Without hiring a medical waste company, it runs the risk of not only putting the employees and patrons in danger, but also the risk of causing the facility millions in lawsuit damages should accidental exposure occur. After all, remember, prevention is easy. Damage control, on the other hand, not so much. Make the right choice and have our medical waste properly disposed.